Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Thirsty Thursday. I'm taking it easy today. Yeah, got back late last night, or late in the evening, uh, working in Vermont, and I am exhausted. My body's sore. I got uh, a bit of the heebie-jeebies cold, and uh, I'm going to take it easy today. But the news in the NFL won't allow me to. So we've had all kinds of stuff that's happened today. Ed Werger was let go by ESPN, another one of the um, names you know that are now unemployed. We'll see what his landing spot will be, but I'm betting it'll be on YouTube because if you get let go by, of course, the networks and stuff, there's always YouTube because anybody can do that. Um, but an interesting thing is Jimmy, excuse me, Jerry Jones has sided with the NFL commissioner who has his wish of, get this, an 18-game NFL season. Um, and I will say from the time they originally mentioned having 18 games, you knew it was just a matter of time before they do. And you have to understand that um, the NFL is about one thing, making money. And now that they have all kinds of new partners as far as streaming goes, it is now the wild, wild west for the scramble. Basically, if you are a streaming platform, you want the NFL because that's your reason to have people sign up for you. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. When you see now that Netflix, Netflix, which has been only a movie platform, is now trying to show, of course, football games. And the NFL looks at it as a whole lot more revenue. And here's what you have to understand is, that game is an 18th of the revenue that they get for regular season. Think about this. When we talk about the salary cap and everybody's like, oh, you can't pay, you can't pay, people understand the NFL is not in a depression where the, the, the money is going down. They are opening up new revenue sources all over the place. That's why they've got all these international games. You know it's only a matter of time before we have teams in Europe, right? You understand that, right? It won't be long before they do NFL expansion. Now, my hope is this here is the NFL is always proactive to get ahead of the changing dynamics of things, um, to deal with controversies. A lot of people thought that the NFL, after the concussion protocol happened, you know, when the movie Concussion basically came out, that that was going to be the end of football. <laughs> oh no. The NFL, of course, set aside money for research. They changed the parameters of how they um, allow hits and things. They brought up, you know, safety for kids and everything else. They did a full-on press. Not that they actually paid out the, the players that have actually been injured in the past. They've made the appearance of that. But from what I see here, there's a problem with overexposure. Thursday night games are not good. And are you adding another game to the schedule then in, in playing games on now Wednesday for Christmas um, and Friday because of the international game in Brazil? You have shortened weeks and times where teams can't practice or time that players can't recover to be ready to play again. When the NFL goes to 18 weeks, what I'd hope and this is what I said before, if you're going to expand into Europe, that they put another bye week in there for a couple reasons. Because, see, think about this. If you're the NFL, if you get an extra bye week, there's still football played that week. Maybe my Cowboys aren't playing, but there's other teams that are that could have ramifications for my team. So I'm going to still watch. So by adding an extra bye week, you're getting a whole nother week of revenue without having to produce any more games. Oh, and what does the NFL love more than anything else? Money. 
But then if you add that extra game, what you do is anybody who's playing in Europe has a bye week before they play in England or Germany or wherever it is. Reason being is you can go to that NFL city the week before and maybe you end up having uh, two practice facilities, one for the, the home team and one for the away team. So that way they go there, they train for a week, they get used to the time shift and all that. They can become ambassadors for the game. You know, we've seen what CJ Stroud and Micah Parsons have done with China the last couple of weeks of things. And you'll get a better product because you're not having people fly over and they're still jet lagged because they were flying <coughs> nine hours behind from LA. What that also does is if you're going to play on a Thursday night, you have a bye week before you play on Thursday night. That way, you have time to recover from the Sunday game, and you have enough time to actually put a game plan together. If you have a Thursday night game, and you play Sunday evening, and you're on the road, you have to fly home. You're not getting home until you know the late hours of the night or early in the morning. Monday, you got to get your game plan together. Tuesday, you got your one real practice. Wednesday's a walkthrough. Thursday's a game, and your head's still scrambled. And so if you had a bye week before Thursday night's game, then Amazon wouldn't feel so gypped about having shit games on that nobody was prepared for. In the end, the NFL looks good because they're giving the fans what they want, which is more football. Two, they end up giving a better product because teams are having time to rest and recover before they have to play that off-schedule game in another country or on Thursday night. Three, they look good because they say, we care about the players and we want them to play where their brains aren't scrambled and have enough rest to be able to participate. And four, they basically get two more weeks of revenue. And that is about the biggest win that the NFL could look at and get doing all of the above. That would be my thought and my approach, but again, I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll who's got no power and knows nothing because you know I didn't go to journalism school and I'm one step of working out of my mama's basement, so to speak. But you can best believe in the next couple of years, there will be 18 game seasons. Yeah, there will be. Because the NFL, when they put something out there, it's not a wish list. It is, here's what's gonna happen. It's just a question of when. Yep. It's crazy because I have so much going on in my life between the red brick house, between giving back, uh, trying to keep up with the cowboys, take care of the house here, um, that there's just not enough time in the day. And it looks like a jungle out here. My ferns over here are growing like crazy. It's like literally taking over the chair. I got weeds behind me here that look like a like I'm in the jungles of Southeast Asia that I need to cut. Um, plant flower pots that's full of weeds and need to be pulled out and flowers put in. Wow. Yeah. There's always a lot of work to do. All right, good people. Hope you all having a great day. And uh, I'll see you soon.